President Rodrigo Duterte makes it clear Monday, June 28, Senator Manny Pacquiao, acting party president of PDP Laban, is no longer his ally. Pacquiao apparently angered Duterte when the senator made comments about corruption under the present government in a June 22 interview with Radio Cinco. Pacquiao says should he ultimately decide to run for president in 2022, he would declare a war against corruption. In his public address, Duterte dares Pacquiao to name these corrupt officials. Go to Congress and start talking. If you fail to do that, I will campaign against you because you are not doing your duty. Do it because if not, I will just tell the people, do not vote for Pacquiao because he is a liar. Duterte's scathing remarks are a huge blow to Pacquiao, whose authority as acting leader of the president's party is now being challenged by a faction held by Vice Chairman Alfonso Cusi, Duterte's energy secretary. On Tuesday, June 29, Pacquiao accepts Duterte's challenge, saying he's not corrupt and not a liar. In a statement, Pacquiao name drops Health Secretary Francisco Duque III, who the senator is planning to investigate on the pandemic funds. Before lambasting Pacquiao, Duterte comments on his vice presidential bid, which political experts call a bastardization of the electoral process. Meron ako dito dinagdag running for vice president ako. Uh, sabi ko, it's not at all a bad idea. And if there is a space for me there, uh, siguro. The president says there are things he would like to continue when his term as chief executive ends in 2022, but he does not elaborate what these programs are. Pero kung wala akong space, uh, everybody is crowding up, one thing to be one, vice president, sila na lang muna kasi tapos na ako. But uh, there are things I'd like to continue, and that would be dependent on also of the president that I will support. The ruling PDP Laban, of which Duterte is party chairman, already formally pushed him to seek the vice presidency in the 2022 polls. Political experts slammed the PDP Laban's call as politics of the absurd and a corruption of the electoral process.